Look how big these girls have grown. And today is the first day. Hi, sweetheart. For the slot to be outside. Don't the little white lambs look huge compared to the little gray ones? Now the white lambs of ninjas are thin and border luster cross. The gray ones of sushis that are just a week old, not even a week old, are Corridale and thin cross. The real light colored one there, that's Quartz. She was the first one born and she's the one that was Breach. Completely backwards. And not just backwards, but only her hocks, just her two hind legs were coming. And then that was the second one, that's Quinn, another ewe lamb, and then last was little Quigley. And now notice how the two girls have got real smooth tight fleece and he's got curly fleece. It'll be interesting to see how that develops. He looks like a little goat, doesn't he? Yeah, I'm talking about you. <laughs> I like the three colors. Hi guys, what do you think about the green grass and the raindrops? Huh? Yep, Mama's keeping a close eye on ya. She's right there. Poor Ninja, she's holding her own, but I have to feed her extra. And there's the horses. There's Celine as the chestnut and Kyle as the black in the background. Well, I can't take your picture if you're sitting behind me. Luckily, Sushi showed no problems after the lambing. Um, she didn't run a fever, no discharge. Her appetite was good in drinking, and she was pooping and peeing like she should, so. I was so afraid because I had to get my arm in there and hook a hind leg with my hand. 
and I held my fingertips over the point of the hoof so as not to tear her anywhere inside and work with her when she was having a contraction. And as I was pulling that, once I finally got the leg and was pulling, oh, I felt a pop and I thought, oh no, you know, had I broke a leg or disjointed something. But we didn't, when she got out, when the lamb was out, no lameness at all. Oh, I was so thankful. Look at her count them. <laughs> Those are some pretty long legs to have three of them squeezed up in there. They're <laughs> they're a little bit bigger than the white ones were. Of course there's only three instead of four. Now these lambs are also getting creep feed, not just mama's milk, because that would really wear Ninja out quickly. So, and creep feed, if you don't know, is when we set up an area inside that the lambs can get into, but the ewes can't, and put in some feed. Oh, sorry about that. If that message popped up, I didn't shut the messages off. But anyway, and it's grain formulated for lambs. And that's not something we've ever had to do with the Corridales. And it's an expense. So, you know, you have to weigh those things one against the other. Okay, there's extra lambs, so that's good. But you're having to buy extra feed. So... coffin that's what scared him she's doing a really good job I think we're gonna be all right There's little Tiny, she's growing good. <laughs> uh. Growing good, but you see the difference in size between her and her three sisters. We nicknamed her a little tiny, but that is Annie, the youngest of the four sisters. Her youngest, last born. It's starting to rain harder, so good time for everybody to go back inside, huh? So I hope you enjoyed this introduction to the long-awaited and last born Cordial Fin Crosses.
and you can see Ninja's wool is growing back. And a special thank you to my friend Ellie from Leaf Yarns Podcast for helping me with these cute names. I knew I wanted a Quigley if we had a boy, but she chose Quartz and Quinn for our two girls. Yeah, that's your <laughs> cousins, half siblings. So there's the end of lambing 2019 here at our reduced flock at Serenity Farms. Hey, no fighting with the little ones. Good mama.